Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Drew What It Do. Hopefully you are having a fantastic day today. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite sneakers of all time, man. Let's get into it. These are the New Balance 990 V4s, and these are the first New Balance sneaker that really got me to fall in love with New Balance as a brand. And I think there are three reasons why this sneaker is probably one of the best sneakers of all time and not just the 990 v4 the the v5 if you're if you're interested in the v5 it's essentially the same sneaker the v3 is a beautiful silhouette the v2 is is absolutely phenomenal i wish i could have a pair of v2s um so essentially all new balance 990 series models this shoe is amazing guys there's three reasons let's get into reason number one the first thing i absolutely love about the new new balance 990 v4 is the color this New Balance, New Balance gray, gray colorway is it's just so versatile. Um, it literally goes with uh, an endless amount of outfits. One of the things I love to be able to do is just have a shoe that you can wear and not have to worry about, you know, will it go well with this or that or whatever. This is a shoe that will literally fit in with your wardrobe very seamlessly. Um, it can be dressed up a little bit, obviously, depending on what you have on top, but it's just a, such a, it's such a beautiful shoe from a, from a colorway standpoint, from a design standpoint, that um, it, it really does go with so much stuff, guys. One of my most fond memories in this shoe was actually uh, having the opportunity to go to Exxon Provence, which is in the south of France. And I took these sneakers, guys, and I was there for two weeks and I had an absolute wonderful time in this silhouette, man. Um, that kind of leads me to my second point, uh, why the, this is such a great sneaker, comfort. Uh, comfort is something that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about enough. I remember when I first had these shoes on on, on feet, uh, I was just blown away by, you know, how much lockdown there was. They were a sturdy shoe. They felt really good. But at the, at the, at the end of the day, the, the thing that uh, made them, you know, really above all other sneakers in my rotation at the time was how the more I wore them, the more comfortable they got, the more, the more kind of molded to my foot. And, and the more I just, just found myself wearing them over and over and over again. Walking the streets of walking the streets of the south of France was an unbelievable experience, and you know it's one of those examples where sneakers just have a, a history. You know what I mean? Like, you you take a sneaker with you on a trip, whether it be a vacation or you you move or whatever, and it's a sneaker that you it, the sneaker that you wear um, becomes a part of that you know experience in your life. And these definitely have been through so many experiences. Not only have they walked the streets of, of southern France, but I've actually taken these on a hike. Um, taking these on several hikes, I've you know walked down down downtown Denver. Uh, I've walked you know in different parts of of the country with these on, man. And I've had an absolute ball, like literally. I I can't express this enough, guys. If you haven't tried out a, a New Balance 990 V4, this is the video to tell you, man. If you can find one, find a V4, find a V5. I, I can I, I can only imagine the the V4 and the V5 being essentially the same sneaker just because um, there's slight differences, but not you know major differences. This shoe is just, man, I absolutely love this shoe. And I'm not even from like the DMV. I'm not from the East Coast. Uh, I'm not really a type of dude who, you know, grew up wearing New Balances. Where I'm from, I grew up like, you know, wearing Vans. I mean, Colorado is, is a lot more closer in, in similarity to California than it is to something like an East Coast thing. So I, I grew up wearing like Vans and whatnot. And uh, being able to wear a nice pair of New Balances, fall in love with a pair of New Balances, fall in love with a dad shoe. Um, I, I, I'm literally smiling ear to ear, guys. It's just, I can't believe how much joy these shoes bring me. The last element I want to talk to you guys about is materials. The materials on this this shoe is absolutely bonkers guys the suede even after it's probably been a year and a half the suede is, is still pretty nappy um, as you can see like there's there's light wear on the shoe especially on the medial side right here there's like some wear on this section if you look at the outsole uh, it's a little bit rubbed away but I mean this the shoe still feels incredibly incredibly sturdy as you can see I, I did a lace swap so I actually exchanged or changed out the white laces that come with the the 990s and, and did some cream laces just to give it kind of a, a different aged cream look I, I absolutely love cream so if 
if you haven't heard me here, if you haven't heard me say it before, guys, I love cream is my one of my favorite colors. Brown, those brown colors is really beautiful. And gray is really beautiful too. Um, and the materials on this shoe, a made in USA pair, man. That's one of the other things. Made in USA, the quality really, you can really tell that it, it meant to last and it has lasted me a very, very long time, man. I could literally talk about these shoes for hours, guys. I mean, I kid you not, but uh, one of the things I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you guys the on feet of the shoe, man. Uh, I, I love the way these look. They're such a sporty look, um, and I'm gonna be wearing just, you know, track pants, some, something really simple, nothing crazy. Um, and then we'll head to the outro of the video and I'll be done, guys, and hopefully you guys got some value out of this. All right, let's get to the on foot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. These are one of my favorite sneakers of all time, for real. And if you're considering buying a New Balance 990 V4 or V5, just try it out. I guarantee that you'll be you know, pleasantly surprised. When it comes to sizing, I would make sure that you size uh, true to size or maybe go down half size. What I found with New Balance is that they fit a little bit bigger. And so um, if you have a, a narrow foot, um, you might Get, get, might be able to get away with going down half a size um and if you have a wider foot i, I would also recommend going true to size um but other than that the like this like i said before the comfort of these is a1 quality of materials is a1 they last you a long time it's just a buttery beautiful shoe i have nothing more to say about it it, it, it is just one of my favorites <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed making this uh, video about the New Balance 990 V4. Um, I might talk a little bit about more about it in the future um, just because I feel like there's a lot of things I could potentially talk about the V4 and just different experiences I've had in it. Um, but if you guys enjoyed today's content or enjoyed today's video rather, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I post videos, you know, regularly talking to sneak, talking about sneakers, art, and fashion. So if any of those things interest you, whether it be New Balance sneakers, Nike sneakers, Adidas, different brands, um, talking about maybe more low key brands and talking about just more low key topics, then this is the channel for you, man. Connect with me on Instagram at DrewJoiner underscore. Uh, I also post fit pics there regularly outfit inspiration uh, motivational things inspiration of all kinds of the sort um, connect with me there i'm having several conversations with different people and i would love to have a conversation with you man if you have an idea if you if you you know want to be on the podcast i host the podcast if you want to just talk about sneakers i would love to have a conversation with you man so please please don't feel don't be afraid feel free to reach out i would love to love to hear from you all right hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and as always be blessed stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace